It's a home the size of a city studio apartment, and Chicago is committed to talking about if building clusters of them makes sense for the poor and homeless community. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross has more on what's inside and who's helping to develop the idea. We thought it was gonna be like a tasty freeze or something like that. <laughs> Some call it unusual. It doesn't look like a normal house. The unit itself is one big room. Ethne McMenamin with the advocacy group Pride Action Tank is leading the effort to introduce tiny homes to Chicago. It's uh, 330 square feet. She takes us on a tiny tour. This is actually a full size bathroom and it's got a full size refrigerator. They also serve a dual function as a, as a staircase up to a storage loft. It's got a full bathtub around the size of a studio apartment. This is only a sample model. The purpose is to house the poor and homeless. It's one more tool that we will have in our toolbox to address the crisis of affordable housing. McMenamin estimates building these tiny homes would cost a fraction of new traditional affordable housing and efforts like hers are catching the eyes of aldermen. Is there a uh, funding source? Um, I think there is. Should we talk about it? Uh, why not? We are currently looking for city land and other kind of opportunities so that we could hopefully begin construction this year. Alderman Raymond Lopez is looking for five to six vacant city lots to build about a dozen homes. McMenamin says they're not for everyone or every community and they'll only be built in neighborhoods where they're welcome. We're not trying to replace any currently existing housing models. We really just want to add to the menu of options. Now, these homes can run thousands to tens of thousands of dollars to build, and projects like this are getting results in places like Portland. Now, today, Alderman Burke started the process to bring experts into City Hall to discuss this issue. Of course, Robin Erica, we should point out the discussions really only in the very preliminary phases. So they're talking about the homeless and the poor. Is there an ideal candidate that they think could fit into these homes in that category? Oh, well, what we definitely discussed is this is not for a family of four. They're really targeting veterans, seniors, and also people like single parents with young children. So that's really the target. What kind of timetable you said, you know, yeah. just the beginning stages. But yes. I mean, if things go, the funding goes and everything else, how long until this is a reality if it yeah. flies? Alderman Lopez was talking about uh, some building starting as early as this year, but again, let's not put the cart before the horse. Yeah. They're going to mm -hmm. have lots of discussions. Fair enough. Thanks, Jeremy.